one. Welcome back guys to Jerk the Journeyman. Today we've got another 10 questions on your journeyman quest uh, your journeyman test. Uh, these questions do show up on your journeyman's test. So go through with me. Um, we'll go over the questions and the answers and you can highlight throughout your uh, code book. These came out of the 2020 code book, but uh, 2017 and 2023 are pretty close. So if you're not exactly on there, they're right, right in the neighborhood whenever you're looking. Um, if it's not close, I'll, I'll direct you to where it needs to be. So that being said, let's get this going. Let me share some stuff with you guys. Get this all set up. All right, looks like we're going. All right, so this is the journeyman test question, uh, video number three. And let's get going. Let me get going here. Oh, right, here we go. All right, service disconnecting means for each service consists of not more than blank switches or sets of circuit breakers. Guys, that's six and NEC 230.71B. Service heads on raceways or service entrance cables and goosenecks in service entrance cables shall be located blank in point of attachment of the service drop or overhead service conductors to the building. And that's uh, 230.54C and that's above. So they want it, they want that a point of attachment above. Um, next one, indoor wet locations, the entire wiring system or installed, exposed, including all boxes, fittings, raceways, and cables used there within shall be mounted so that there is at least blank airspace between it and the wall or supporting surfaces. Quarter of an inch, guys, 300.6D. What they want is they want a little airspace in between there, so nothing. So hopefully it'll dry out when it doesn't, when it isn't wet or mold won't build up in there. Next one, in a motor control center, the blank phase shall be the phase having the higher voltage to ground on three phase four wire delta connected system. So they're like A, B, or C is what they're looking for. So B phase is your answer on that one. Um, 430.97B. Guys, if you guys are getting something out of this, give me give me a subscribe real quick. Um, I'm trying to build up my, my subscription and this would help considerably. And if you made it this far, you're probably getting something out of it. So I'd appreciate that. All right, next one. Flange surfaces inlets shall be installed so that the prong blades or pins are blank unless an energized cord connector ins uh, inserted into it. So not energized. They're pretty much talking about receptacles or something like that. Maybe um, pin and sleeve connectors is all that, all that fancy wording is that we don't use in the field. Next one. Where conduit seals are required for explosion proof enclosures in class one division one hazardous locations, the seal shall be installed within blank from the enclosure. Guys, first off, I want to I want to point out if they if they mention class one div one, we've got to know that that's in 501. Right there, class one div one is 501. Class one div two, 502, class one div three, 503. So right away, you already know you're going into to 501 and 18 inches, and it's 501.15A1. Portable electrical signs installed in wet locations shall be provided with a GFCI protection that is integral part of the attachment plug are located in the power supply cord with blank of the attachment plug within. I'm sorry, that's, that screen's kind of short. It's within 12 inches. There again, guys, you read the you read the question right away. You should know that that right here, they're look they're asking you about portable signs. You can go back to your keyword index, look up uh, portable signs. If you don't know where it is, if you don't know what's in 600, then you can flip in there and go from there. So 12 inches. That's in 610 C two. Um, surface metal raceways with a metal thickness of less than 0 0.04 inches are allowed for use where the voltage does not exceed 300 volts. That's NEC 
So this is a good one on the journeyman's test that we have no idea what they're asking and we are totally baffled when we see it. All right, next one. When using the optional method for service load calculations for a, for a dwelling unit, blank of the nameplate rating of electric heating must be used in calculations when four or more separately controlled units are installed. So that's back in the optional method, guys. And it's 40% in 220.82C5. I believe that's, but I'm not even gonna tell you, that's past the standard section. You go back and then they show you what's required in the optional method. All right. Where only class one circuit conductors are installed in a raceway, ampacity adjustment factors shall apply only if blank. First off, guys, don't get class one and division one confused. Division one is when they're talking about explosion proof of classified area. Class one is your low voltage stuff. You're, so if you're looking in 500, 501, for this class one circuit conductors, you're in the wrong spot. You need to go back further. And the answer is the conductor shall carry con continuous loads in excess of 10% of the opacity of each conductor. And that's in NEC 2, I'm, I'm sorry, 725.51A. So don't get that confused. Don't get division one and class one confused. Guys, that's all I've got today. If you guys are needing some more help, um, would like to join my Facebook group. I do have a Facebook group for apprentices that are trying to get their journeyman's card that need help. Um, this place, we go over all kinds of questions like that. You guys are free to ask questions and um, not get bombarded like what's going on on Facebook right now. It's crazy. These uh, these groups um, are just killing the, the apprentices right now. So um, I do have a uh, private Facebook group here and guys join it. You guys need some help. Um, these tests aren't easy and this is the place where you can go to get it. Uh, just scan the QR code and, and uh, go from there. If not, shoot me a DM, leave me a comment and I'll help you out. But that's all I have for now, guys. Be safe out there and thank you for watching.